Thank you for coming and continuing to support us. The AMC will continue on next year. We'll be doing only four sessions a year. The Hall of Fame continues to grow bigger and better. We are recurating um, at St Paul's, which is now a music hub. We want you to welcome and say hello to Maggie Rushes.
they took my wife. I was married to Casey's mum at the time, and my, my wife Diane, and I talked her into loading our kids into our land cruiser and heading north. And I said, we're, we're going to become fox hunters. So, because uh, she was ecstatic. And, <laughs> and we, we headed north up past Port Augusta and we ended up on the Nullarbor. And she cried for the first three days, like she totally lost it. And I sat her down on the third day and I said, look, darling, we, we're going to make some money, we're going to hunt some foxes, we're going to live up here, the kids are going to grow up, here. you know, we're, we're only going to be here for about six weeks or something. We stayed for ten years. Now, for the women in the audience, could you imagine this? Seriously, can you imagine this? And David Moyes, please. The band started in 76. It was basically the... the uh, the, Graham and Russell were understudies in Jesus Christ Superstar. Yes. And so the backing band was air supply, effectively, it came from Jesus Christ Superstar. And uh, the first album, which was uh, Love Another, the first song, Love Another Bruises, I mean Bruises. Um, uh, does he catch that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, He's working the room. I'm working the room. No, that, that actually went really well in Australia. And on the strength of that, they got a, a tour to the States supporting Rod Stewart in 76. Apparently, it didn't go so well. For the guys. So you didn't go. You didn't I, go. I, I wasn't part of that. No, okay. so I was only. I was still in nappies, mate. I was seventeen. That's We're all in nappies now. That's a, that, <laughs> Whether we like it or not. So they came back in '77, broke up, and they moved to South Australia. And they actually lived in St. Peter's, around the corner from my place. When I grew up, I didn't know it at the time, they were looking uh, for a new band, so yeah. So in 77 they reformed with myself, a uh, bass player at the time called Brian Hamilton, and um, they were trying to re re kind of reproduce the Jeremy Paul front, three front line guys. And that's kind of, that was the beginning of it, Lost in Love, All Out of Love, and I think Every Woman in the World, no, no, Lost in Love and All Out of Love were, were written in St. Louis. Gary Burroughs said to me, you don't have to establish it, it's already here. There's a chap called David Daisy Day, who I've heard of, of course, even though I've been away for many years. He's got this thing called the South Australian Music Hall, which was founded by a number of other people as well. It's been conjecturous, we all know that. But Daisy apparently was there at the beginning and was the founder, together with some other people. He introduced me, and it became the Adelaide Music Collective, which is the custodian of the South Australian Music Hall of Fame. Now, this person who's been Gary Burroughs, who I'm going to ask to come and sit on this stool in literally about 30 seconds, was the person that was there with me from the start at all the meetings that we had. Two of us, four of us, eight, 16, multiple zero, and he stuck by me through thick and thin. So I'm going to ask you to come and sit here while we pay tribute to you, and your boss, current and former, because Gary's sort of semi retired, Jennifer Guyon, who's from APRA. Everyone knows what APRA is, Australian Performing Rights Association. They collect royalties for performing artists like these people here. Yeah, maybe not the tail with ears, I'm sorry, Brian. But uh, Jennifer, if you're here somewhere, I ask you to come up on stage. Uh, try not to make this too long, but uh, we do have a bit of a time limit. But I will allow you now to pay tribute to this man, who we've known for many years, and to tell us why. He is going to be tonight inducted in the South Australian Music Corp. I reckon over Gary's time in APRA, he's enabled over $5 million of royalties just for live music alone and background music to be generated. Uh, and that's in the hospitality, small business area, and, um, and you know, that money goes back to the songwriters in Australia, Australia, of course, but around the world. So congratulations, Gary. And of course, the South Australian concert market, because we're not even there yet, generates about a quarter of a million dollars each year. So that's uh, another fantastic stat. Moving on to Gary the family man. You can't work in a job as long as you've done at APRA, without getting to know your family. I am 
along with my head on the phone, being care of you till it hurts. I know you had to, but what else can we do to man that it's all about? Wish I could carry your smile in my heart. For the times when my life seems so low. Windows down. 